Hello there, and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Ghostbusters headquarters. Uh, this is going to be the first of two videos, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build the building and all of the interior layout, with the second video running through the full and film authentic interior. There will be a full world download for this, so make sure to keep watching, and I'll be letting you know where you can get hold of that later in the video. But without any further ado, let's get on with the build. These are the blocks that you'll need for the build, so make sure you do pause the video here so that you can see uh, what you need to get collecting. This is just the blocks for this build and doesn't include any of the interior decoration blocks which will be covered in the next video. The total space you'll need to fit this build in is 42 by 22 and within that we have 37 by 17 uh, for the orange section which is the exterior wall and then we also have a basement section that we're going to have to dig down which is 12 blocks by 9 blocks. The first thing we're going to do is mark out where this basement is and this is 14 on the 14th block back and the third block in from the left hand side and that is the 12 by 9 section so what we're going to do is dig out this entire thing and we're going to dig down to a distance of six blocks down. Once we've dug out this hole then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the floor and this is going to be just some regular stone. So we'll fill in the entire uh, bottom layer with stone which will give us the nice floor that we need. The next step is a little bit strange but it'll make sense in a second. Um, what we're going to do is we can, we're going to take some stairs and these can be any type of stairs that you like. So for the sake of this I'm just using some stone stairs and what we're going to do is we're going to place an entire layer of three high stone stairs upside down against this wall. We're also going to do the same on the next wall and the reason for this is we're going to use some walls to get a nice uh, depth effect on this but we don't want the walls to connect to the blocks behind and by using the stairs we will make sure that that doesn't happen. So fill this up like I say to the uh, three height with the stairs on these two sides and those are the right hand side and the back. Now that we've put those stairs in place, on the other two walls, what we're going to do is put a full layer, three high, of the end stone bricks. And that's going to go right the way around these two walls. So now we've got these end stone brick walls in place, what we're going to do is we're going to place three more of the end stone brick walls here with three of the black concrete next to them. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the white concrete and we're going to start filling this in. And we're going to fill this in out to and level with this black pillar on this side all the way across this wall. And here on this wall we're only going to go a single block past the, uh, the upside down stairs like so. So this is all going to connect up. And then we're just going to go on top of this, no overhang, uh, just on top of this end stone brick. So fill all of these blocks in and then we'll come back. Now we've added in this white ceiling, what we're going to do is we're going to start building up some of the walls here. So we're going to start by placing three of the, uh, the end stone brick walls. Then we're in the middle block going to place a kelp and then we're going to place a polished black stone wall here and then a end stone brick wall there and as you'll see as soon as we place that last one and it connected up we get the nice smooth wall but it's just as you can see this little bit laid back so we've got an element of depth coming into the build now what we can do is we're going to take some end stone and we're going to place three end stone and we're going to place two lines of that and then we're going to place two more here like so we're going to place some end stone brick stairs upside down here and there's a reason for that we're going to have some more uh, some more blocks coming across here in a second um, but what we yeah we're going to place them connected up like this and then we are going to fill in the rest of this gap with some end stone brick walls now on this side we are going to come across and we are going to leave a blocks gap and then we're going to place two concrete a concrete here and another two concrete so we've got this u shape then we are going to place an, a, sh a red shulker box. This is so that you can open it and you get an animation of this is where they would put the ghosts in here. And then we're going to leave another block and we're going to place a line of the end stone like this. We're going to use some polished black stone wall to connect up like a cable. And then we're going to fill in this space with some of the end stone brick walls. For this last section of wall, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to 
start by switching uh, this block out for a full block there like so what we're then going to do is place an andesite wall coming across like this on top of that andesite wall we're going to place a block of andesite and then next to that we're going to place two red nether brick walls we're going to fill in the rest of this space uh, with some of the end stone brick walls like so and then you get a lovely look and as you see when you come back you've got lots and lots of depth working in different places on this build uh, to finish off this we are going to then get our andesite and we're going to bring that up so it will go into the roof and then we've got some red nether brick stairs that will also go up next to that to kind of have two uh, two types of, of cabling coming into this box here which is a big power converter we're going to now add some stairs as well so on top of this edge block we're going to place the first of these stairs and then we're going to place another stair like this and then another one and stairs coming down into the room and what we're going to do here is we're just going to come in and duck so we can place some stairs in these gaps which allow us to get in and out of this basement area now the basics of the room are done we're gonna put a roof on it and to do this we're gonna take some of this light gray concrete and we're gonna bring that all the way along the edge here to bring this back up to ground level and what we're also gonna do is once we are at the point that you're at the bottom of the stair we're gonna use another andesite stair upside down here to mark the edge of that staircase so we'll br that means that you don't bash your head um, but when you fill in all of these blocks next to it then it actually lines up nicely and you've got a little hole there but a big roof so fill in all the roof and i'll show you the lighting with the roof on it's a little bit dingy down here so we need to get some lighting so the first thing we're going to do obviously we've got the ghost enclosure here and we're going to put the two warning lights so you want a regular and a uh, a warped lantern or a soul fire lantern rather so next thing we're going to do is we're going to start by placing some levers on this side here just like so and within those levers what we're going to do is we're going to place some end rods coming across from both of these like this uh, which is going to give us some light and then we turn the other way and place some more levers to give us some nice light fixtures here what we're going to do in this space is also place another light so we're going to come out two blocks out from the front of the build opposite the stairs so two blocks out here and one block across and place a lever here and a lever here with an end rod in between and that should give you all the lighting that you need in here to make it spawn proof um, but you never know there might be some ghosts that spawn down there and that is yeah that's the basics for the underground here obviously I will be covering some of the little decoration things that we have in the next video so don't miss out on that now the basement's done we're gonna start on the main walls around the build now at this point I am going to be using some diorite. I know that that's a dirty word for some people, uh, but in the texture pack that I use, it is absolutely the perfect coloration uh, for the actual build itself. So if you wanted to switch the diorite, I would make the suggestion that you either went for some, uh, some regular stone or uh, potentially you went for some of the quartz blocks. The problem with both of them is that you do need some walls and neither stone nor quartz blocks have walls in. So yeah, I've gone for the diorite, um, but feel free to use whatever you want. Now, the first thing we're gonna go for is we're gonna place some of the polished diorite, which is, again, the nicer version of the diorite anyway. And we're gonna do this on either side of the doorway. And this comes in and can also be used to show where the doorway is. It comes in five blocks from each side here. Against this side on the right, we're going to come in one, two, three, four, five, six further blocks, so seven total, which gives us the second doorway. So there's a little side doorway and there's also a doorway at the back. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to carry on the rest of the blocks all the way around. But when we get to this back corner, uh, we are going to be coming in three blocks from, as you look at the front, the left hand side 
and that's why we're going to have a single block for the doorway so all of this gets filled in uh, and all the way along this side as well with the polished diorite the one other thing that we're going to do in this stage is on top of that polished diorite as soon as we've done it we're going to have a line of the polished diorite stairs going all the way around the build like this so we've got two high one of the polished diorite blocks one of the polished diorite stairs and that's going to surround the whole build apart from the doorways with those layers in place then it will look something like this and now we're going to move on to the regular diorite and what we're going to do is we're going to place this on the inside uh, and it's going to run exactly level with all of the bits that we've just built but this time it's going to come up seven blocks so we've got two blocks and then an extra five three four five so it's going to come up this height and that is going to go all the way around uh, like i say um, the one thing to note though is when you do get to these doorways because these two doorways are small but this one is big uh, we leave these ones and don't do anything but once you get up level here you can actually come over the doorway it's absolutely fine to do that so build up all of the walls to seven height uh, and i'll come back to you and show you the next stage now we've got the first stage of this up what we're going to do now is come back to the polished diorite and this is going to form a line right the way across even over this big doorway because it doesn't need to be any higher than that uh, so we've got this big doorway now and the polished diorite is going to go all the way around in a line we're then also going to put a full line of the regular diorite on top of that and on top of that another line which is going to go all the way around everywhere apart from this doorway so this doorway which is currently seven wide we're going to come in one block of that seven and leave a gap of five in the middle of that doorway uh, but yeah absolutely everything else comes up to exactly this height three blocks up with one block or one course rather of the polished diorite and two courses of the regular diorite so this now has got the extra lines uh, of diorite in there it is looking rather boxy but don't worry about that because we are going to knock some windows in the uh, the side in a little while so you don't need to worry too much about that um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and upside down we're going to place some polished diorite stairs and those are going to go all the way around uh, make sure that they all go upside down and in the right places of course but it's going to go all the way around this build on this first course of, of polished diorite the, the first course of diorite rather above this polished stuff so that's going to go all the way around and then what we're going to do on top of that is we're going to take some walls and now just from each of these sides because again this is going to be a big window here we're going to run these on top of the upside down stairs that we've just placed it placed right the way around the build so we'll finish that off all the way around and then we get onto the brick section next we're going to deal with the archway around this doorway so first thing we're going to do is get a diorite stair and we're gonna place one un upside down in each of those gaps to start curving things around. Uh, on top of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to this block next to the diorite and we're gonna place a dark oak plank on there with a stair facing into that. And now behind this, we are going to build up a line of the dark oak planks right the way around this up to, but not, over the edge of this hole so we'll do that on both the sides now here on this underside in this corner we're going to place two stairs like so then we're going to get some trapdoors i'm going to place one here one here and then one on each of those and as you can see that gives us a really really nice curve on the archway the last thing for these is we're going to pop some birch fences in in front as the bollards that sit in front of that so now we've got a nice entrance and a nice curve one more thing we're going to do in this step is we're going to come here and we're actually going to replace this top block with a dark oak slab uh, dark oak stair even and do the same on the back and now we are going to start looking at knocking out the windows which are going to be uh, first one is going to be level with this and we're going to knock out three blocks like so then we're going to count across ten you can use the polished di uh, diorite to do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and on that tenth block we're going to knock out a three by three space which should be right in the middle of the wall 
as you can see. And on this side, we're going to go in seven to match where that doorway is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven and knock out these three here. So then you'll have a nice balanced set of windows. This is also going to show you where the windows are above as well. We need to do a similar thing on the other side of the build. So come level with this on the other side and we're going to head straight across and knock out these three by three gap here on this side and also just this front one. So again, coming in, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six on the inside because there's one hidden, three, four, five and six. And we're going to knock that out there. There isn't one on this back portion because we're going to have some stairs that head up uh, to the second floor. We're now at the back of the build and there is one more window that we're going to knock out and that is right in the middle at the back. And we're going to come across one, two, three, four and on the fifth block we're going to start knocking this out and we're going to knock this out again on the other side. One, two, three, four on the fifth block right the way down and all of this diorite section is going to be replaced and so we'll take all of this out. Now this window, because it's bigger, has got some detailing in there and what we're going to do is we're going to take some polished diorite and we're going to run that up both sides of the window like this. On the inside we're going to take a polished diorite stair and place it like this. So again we've got a nice archway. On the third block up we're going to run some polished diorite across the middle and then we're going to get some of the diorite walls and place them here right the way up and there we've got the finished window frame. First to deal with the height and the big window at the front we're going to come onto the edge of this diorite block and we're going to come up in a certain pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up one then we're going to come out and out one then up, up and out, up, up and out and we're going to do this for a total of seven of these. Uh, up. And when we get to the seventh one we're going to place a, another block on top. So this should be a total of 15. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and then 15. And what we're going to do is the same on the other side, but repeating it outwards and reversing it. At this point, when both of those are in place, we are going to take a line from this top block right the way out and right the way over the build uh, and we're going to run this right the way around the entirety of the, the build. So when you're doing this obviously you'll be here above and you can look straight down and see when you're lined up. Uh, but yeah take this all the way around the build not connecting up over that window but connecting it up in a full ring. So now we've got this big ring we're going to be using that as the line to stop where we start putting these windows in. So come above the windows on this side where there's the door and start building these up on both sides of this window to the top and making sure as well that we mirror what we've done here with every other block we've got another polished diorite that sticks out and then we'll also do the same here on both sides of this window and at the back here. So we'll do that on all of these. On the opposite side, we're again going to do this, but we're also having the one here. So we'll line this up with the other side and start building this up. So the, these sets of windows are a complete mirror of each other across the build. And we'll put them in place like this and take all of these, like I say, up to that other tower and make sure that on each of them, we've got the sticky outy bit. And then on the back as well, we're going to come in one, two, three. And on that third block, we're also going to start building up a one wide window on here. And you guessed it, same on the other side, one, two, and on the third block coming up. And then also, as with all the others, putting the extra polished diorite sticking out like this as the, as the detailing. So bring all of those windows up to the top here and I'll show you what that looks like. With this framework of polished diorite in place the next uh, the next stage is a very satisfying one and that is just simply to fill in with bricks all of the gaps in between the entirety of this um, of this structure. So literally everything up to that line obviously not in the windows themselves but everything in between with these sticky outy bits pointing towards each other. With the brickwork in place, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up onto the seventh block. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven. So it'll be in between two of these. We're going to bring out a line of 
the uh, polished diorite and we're going to leave a gap and bring another line across the other way. In between these we are going to place some of the diorite walls and this is going to this same line is going to go all the way around so where we've got the window here we're going to place the two blocks with the wall and same here as well like so and once we've done that all the way around the other thing that we're going to do at this stage is we're going to come one block down from this and bring uh oh, wrong block some more of the polished diorite across so that is like this and then round the side rather than the polished diorite what we're going to use are some black stone walls some polished black stone walls in fact that go at this level we're going to have the same cross beam so we've got this cross beam here and the same cross beam but in black here and then the very last thing on the sides but not on the front we're going to have another cross beam one block down for these windows like this so i'll repeat that round the build and show you what it looks like we have all of those window holes now in place and all of the cross beams uh, so it's starting to look more and more like a building so now we're going to deal with this front window and what we're going to do is we're going to come up three blocks on both of these sides and then we're going to connect these across and that's going to be connected across with two layers like this then underneath here we're going to place an upside down stair on each of these we're going to come down one full block so it's a block level with this but a line higher than we've got for the cross beams in the other windows and come across with a set of the polished diorite and then the final thing to do on this step is to connect these up all the way oh, not that all the way through with some of the diorite walls in between and so that gives us a nice effect exactly like the window that we did at the back there so yeah just take the polished diorite or the diorite walls rather right the way through now that's all done the next step we're going to build is we're going to put a layer of diorite all the way around the build uh, like this right the way through to the corners again just tracking on top of everything all the way around and on top of that layer of diorite we're going to have a layer of polished diorite that goes right the way around on top of it as well so that all then connects up and just creates a double ring of diorite with three blocks of gap in between. With that double ring now put in place, again, next stage as beneath is we're going to fill all of this in all the way around. Now we are going to be poking some holes in this to add some of the polished granite, uh, but it's easiest to put all of the blocks in place so that it, you can explain exactly where these need to go. We're also, the other thing is going to place an entire line of the bricks on top of this polished diorite as well. So fill that all in and I'll show you how it looks. With all those bricks in place, as I mentioned just now, we're gonna start placing uh, just a bit of detailing, which is gonna be the, uh, the polished granite blocks. And the first ones that we're gonna place are coming in one block and placing a, a block here, then coming around the corner, coming in a block and placing one here, skipping a block and placing one. And then on this side and the far side as well, it's just a simple ass putting them over the windows. So that three wide section that counts as the windows, uh, putting over these this five wide section for the window as well, like so. And then skipping a block and going in the space in between. So we've got this pattern running across. So we've got uh, one, one, and then we've got the window. And I'll just finish this off again for this level. Just filling in five and five and five and then three more here and then again one and one and that takes you to the edge for the back here we're going in this one block we're going in one block again to bring us above this window and then we're having one two three four five in the middle like so and then just finish this off on this side as well so yeah do that all the way around uh, with that pattern Obviously at the front there's nothing that you, you want to do in this middle section because we've already got some, some decoration with the polished diorite. The other thing that we're going to do is all the way around on top of this we're going to place some of the polished diorite slabs. We are nearly finished with the exterior of the build now so uh, the last couple of steps that we're going to come and do are firstly to come to this uh, level of the regular diorite 
and up the side we're going to go in in between these two polished granite and we're going to bring some of the polished diorite all the way around the front of the build and then to the same point here and we're going to do the same at the back so just from here round like so all the way around and then what we're going to do once we've done that is we're going to take our stairs and we're going to place a line of stairs running upside down along some detailing on this and this provides the overhang that we're going to have and it's going to run all the way along like so right the way around the build uh, so once you've filled that in just bring that right the way across once we've got this line in place we're going to start adding uh, a little bit more decoration to the underside of this so what we're going to do is we're going to come level with the build we're going to face away from the build and then next to this uh, polished granite we're going to place some stairs and those are stairs that are going to be on the underside of this so they're stairs in that orientation so they're upside down uh, but they're placed on that block and we're going to do the same for two blocks here and the same at the back as well so just one here and one here or there rather and then round the corner uh, one here and one here so we don't place any more in the middle connecting those up uh, then we're going to place two walls of the diorite like this and that's going to be on those four corners that we're going to have this same pattern now at the front but not at the back we're going to have uh, sorry polished the polished diorite stairs and they're going to be two right way upstairs just like this as an, uh, another bit of detailing in the center and the last thing to note is if you are in survival then there are some spawning spaces so for example this here we're not going to fill anything in so you will potentially want to put something in that gap you can use carpets i'm cho choosing the weighted trap doors uh, again this space is too small so you don't need to worry about that but here you would want the weighted trap doors here we're going to put uh, a fence in a second um, but also the other bit that you might want to either put buttons or something just to make it spawn proof maybe carpets is all the way around here because the last thing you want if you are in survival is to have finished your uh, your lovely building and to have a creeper drop down and turn you into a ghost so yeah go around and do that you don't need to worry about the top because it's a slab now we're going to finish off the exterior of this build and the first thing that we're going to do as i mentioned is put some iron bars across the entrance there which covers off that spawn space round the side here we we didn't need to put spawn proofing in because what we're actually going to do is fill these up with some black stained glass panes and we're going to do that on all of the windows now there are two exceptions and that is the middle bit here which firstly we're going to place a blast furnace there and shift clicking a jungle trapdoor there so we've got an air conditioning unit here we've got another one one block up directly above that just stuck in the window like so let's have those so at least the uh, trapdoors are going the same way and then up again on the next floor but on the other side we're going to have an air conditioning unit here as well this is why we shift click there we go in into that the other thing that we're going to do, which is the only oddity, is we're adding an extra polished diorite block in there. All the rest of these spaces that we have, we're going to take the black stained glass panes and we're literally going to fill in the lot of them with the glass right the way up to and just above these, uh, these walls here. And this is then going to finish off that exterior piece um, for the, this, this build. Aside from the, the roof, which we'll deal with later once we've built up the in uh, the inside layout. Uh, but yeah, go around filling in the glass. Now on this left hand side, there is an optional thing that you can do, which I am going to do. Um, but depending on where you've put the build, you might choose not to if it's next to other buildings. Uh, and that is to add a fire escape so that people can get in and out um, in, if the fire station catches fire. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take some polished blackstone stairs and place them upside down stairs here so there's a two gap there we're also going to place some where there's a two gap here 
And what we're going to do is we're going to build out a platform and this platform is going to be using iron trapdoors. So what we're going to do is place some iron trapdoors here along this side and there's going to be a five by two set of the iron trapdoors like this. Then we're going to go up one level and again, bear in mind that this is the top this is the bottom we're placing these on rather than actually at the top of the block. We are going to place some more on the uh, bottom in a second, but just for the first instance, we'll place them out here. That makes means that this bit is spawn proof anyway. And what we're then going to do is we are going to place some bottom ones and those are going to go underneath right the way through. And what we're also going to do is come out with the bottom ones on the way round and that allows us to then place some fences so that again people don't fall when they are going up and down these and we'll do the same on this level so just fill all of this in underneath with another layer of the iron trapdoors bring it out one block past to create this little escape area and then what we're going to do is we're going to start running some uh, some ladders down. Uh, so we'll get rid of these blocks. So it's next to this polished diorite. We'll run some ladders right the way down from here all the way to the point of this level like this. But here what we're going to do is something slightly different. We're going to take some of the oak trapdoors and we'll replace this one. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll place it that way so it opens up and shift click down so we can place all of these and we'll use this little trick where you can place these not right to the floor because again it just hangs a little bit open these up like so and then shift clicking onto them will add the ladders to them uh, and this gives us the full fire escape one more there we go so that means that you will be able to climb up here onto this level then you'll be able to also climb up from here right the way to the next level and to the roof but yeah it's just a nice little touch um, a bit of realism for you but again completely optional with all the glass in place and obviously the optional uh, fire escape on there we're going to start building uh, the final details to the outside and then we're going to finish off the interior uh, the actual layout for that so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some of the polished black stone buttons and on the front we're going to place one here and then leave a two gap and one here and do that on both sides so one on the corner and leave a gap and place one here as well then on the side we're going to do this do the same but with the stone buttons and we'll do that on this other side as well like so this door is going to be a crimson door and we're going to place that from the inside these uh, the door at the back here is going to be a dark oak door just stick that in quickly like so and then at the front here we're actually going to deal with this big door now if you wanted it open you could experiment with how you could set up these trap doors but I'm going to show you closed just because it's safer first thing we're going to do is we're going to place two doors and these are the dark oak doors uh, and try and get them so they open with the handles together. Now we're going to start placing some of the tr the dark oak trap doors and what we're going to do is go up four uh, and then four in the middle, four at this side and then two on the doors themselves. So we'll leave these all closed now for now. On top of this we're going to place two more on either side and then we're going to switch and place a line of birch trapdoors before finishing off with a line of the dark oak trapdoors. And we now close all of these and that creates our lovely big firehouse door. Obviously closing them, not placing more ones. So let's just head out and that will show you what it then looks like. So there you've got your nice big double doors. Now the final touches to the front are, firstly we're going to place an oak trapdoor and uh, close it like that. That's the little gold embellishment above the uh, the door. Then we're going to take a birch sign and we're going to place it uh, not on that block, the one beneath. And that is going to say Ghostbusters for people who are at street level, checking that out. 
and then we're going to come in one block and then place a sign just here as well just for another detail now the final things that we're going to do are we're going to come into the center block place a fence gate and a dark oak fence so dark oak fence gate dark oak fence and now we're going to make ourselves the Ghostbusters banner what we're going to use is a red banner and on that we're going to place some white dye and the first thing we're going to find is here the white lozenge then we're going to find the uh, white fess and then we move away keep that one white there we've got the two red we're then going to get the red bend sinister and lastly we've got on that side the red bordure then we bring in the white for the very final touch which is the face of the ghost sticking out on there and we we're, we're going to need two of these banners we shift click those onto either side of this and that is now once we get rid of that all of the exterior done now to move into the interior so now we're going to be looking at the interior and what you'll notice is that um, i've already built this on a light gray concrete floor uh, because that is the one that's closest to the film all of this interior and all of the layout is based on the actual screenshots from the film itself so should be should be film accurate uh, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some stripped spruce and we're going to come one block in here i'm going to go one two three four five up here uh, and we're going to have four of these along that are going to come up to this level of five so that is one block above the bottom of the window next what we're going to do is we're going to start placing some dark prismarine and we're going to place two layers of dark prismarine that are going to, are going to go all the way around the build obviously avoiding the door but literally all the way around the build and meeting up with this on all sides. So we'll fill in that dark prismary. And the next thing we're gonna do on top of that is actually add some white concrete. And that white concrete is then gonna go all the way up the build, right the way to the bottom level of this window. And that is gonna extend all the way around as well. Uh, obviously avoiding the windows. The one thing with the windows is we are gonna place above the windows an upside down stair like this so on each of these we'll have an upside down dark oak stair and the same above this doorway but everything else we'll just fill in same with the other doorway of course the, the upside down dark oak stair we'll fill this in and basically we're just lining this entire interior with these two layers of the dark prismarine and the two layers of the well all of the layers of the concrete and that is one two three four five six seven layers high of the, the white concrete if the dark prismarine all you were struggling to get hold of you could use some uh, green wool you could potentially even use some kelp blocks the dark prismarine does look best it does match what's in the film the best uh, but yeah entirely up to you what you wanted you could even use some green concrete if you wish now that you've filled in that first set of uh, of white around here what we're going to do is we're going to get some polished diorite and up level with this window we're going to bring this all the way from here right the way to the uh, the roof uh, so the, well i say the roof we haven't got a roof yet but it's going to come right the way up to this level just up here which is just beneath uh, where we're going to start placing uh, the floor of the roof above so on both the sides of the window then we're going to be placing all of that all the way down and then on the inside of this we're going to have one more course of the white concrete coming all the way around the build here at this back window what we're going to do is we're going to place some walls going across and we're going to do the same here not on this double thick section where we've got the walls there but also on this section here so what we'll have is all of these connecting up with the polished andesite uh, and we'll have another layer of the white concrete coming around the other thing we're going to do is we're going to just pick the block finish off covering up this dark oak and cover up this with some more of the white concrete like this uh, what we're going to do though is we're because there's going to be a floor here we're only going to come up to this level 
so one level beneath where we've got this white concrete here um, uh, like I say because there's going to be some flooring going there and that shows you the level that we've got for the floor uh, on the on the next the next level so yeah fill all of those bits in I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll start building some of the rest of this with those wall coverings in place the next stage that we're going to look at is uh, taking some of the polished diorite and we're going to bring this right the way up going to bring this right the way up on either of the sides to level with the regular diorite up at the top here so that's going to come up that height and then down from that on the other side now that's going to come right the way from the bottom up so connect those up we're also going to run some diorite along here and also here and here not on this block though because that's going to be something else uh, but yeah we'll connect them them up all of the four blocks are going to have another line of the polished diorite and likewise we're going to have a line of the diorite going across just like this and just like this so that is going to give us the basic structure i'll just finish filling that in once that's all done we're also going to take one more line of the white concrete and bring this all the way around the build on both the sides and then at the back here where we've got this window we're going to have a line of walls coming along level with this diorite on this side so that's going to connect up we will fill all of this bit up also at this stage add in just some covering of this dark oak we're going to bring this up and that's going to be one block beneath this window because that's going to be a floor and we're just going to cover up all of this with some more of the white concrete like that. The one other thing that we're gonna do whilst we're here is we're gonna add another block here, leave a gap, and then connect up with some blocks there because there's a little room in here. And then we're gonna add two more of the white concrete like so, like this. And then we're also gonna cover that up on the top and there's gonna be a door in there. To add stairs up to the second floor, we're gonna come onto the top of this upside down andesite stair from the basement and we're going to place a two by two of dark oak planks with two stairs going into that then coming along the wall we are going to start stepping up uh, the wall like so and we're going to keep doing this until we get one block beneath the top so we're going to stop here then we're just going to double up the stairs what we're going to do is on the second block down at the top we're going to place this trapdoor which stops anything spawning on the window sills and we'll do that here and here now on this what we're going to do for the three wide windows we're going to shift click in and place three trapdoors up on one side come around the other side shift click and place three trapdoors up the other side and open all of those uh, and then we're going to place that same middle uh, block there so it, it gives us this nice effect on the windows this one we're going to do the same and then we're going to do something a little bit different so first of all we'll place these in and we'll place the one in the middle here so we'll close these or open them depending on which way you're looking uh, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to get rid of this one and we're going to take this blast furnace and hot place it here so the air conditioning unit comes right the way through the the build itself next we take a jungle trapdoor and we place this on here then we take some dark oak planks and we run a line of the dark oak planks up here like so and then across from here we're going to run some uh, trapdoors and some on this side and then we're going to place some on the floor up like this using shift click to create this little alcove. To box in around the stairs we're going to place three of the dark prismarine and then another dark prismarine like this then we're going to skip one and place two dark prismarine here the reason that we're skipping one is because here we need to use some stairs so we're going to place some stairs the right way up and then some upside down that's so that w when we place a wall well we're going to place a, a support just here and we don't want it to connect up now on top of that we're going to place a concrete here and some concrete going up here and in this space because we don't want it to connect up again we're going to use some uh, some smooth quartz so it's going to be just like that now coming to this inside here we're going to place one more smooth quartz assay lintel for the door and then some uh, white concrete here then we're going to leave a gap for two 
coming this way and we're going to place two of the prismarine and then we're going to fill up to the staircase just here and that gives us all of these pillars. Coming to the back of the build now we're going to start by filling in some of the black stained glass in this window. Now on the other windows we've got the glass on the outside but on this one it's in the inside just because we've got the, the detailing on the outside. Uh, so we'll fill this all in and the next thing that we're going to do is put the little wooden office that we have here and we're going to start at this pillar which is helpfully placed to give us a good reference point and we're going to come up three of these strip spruce then leave two gap and come up three strip spruce again then we're going to move across two and come level with these uh, walls that are in the window and leaving only one gap there we're going to come up four this time and so we're going to do that on both sides and then we're going to mirror this so again coming out one more block and then coming up three and leaving a two gap here what we're now going to do is we're going to take some uh, spruce planks and place these in in between then in this gap as well and this gap split the place, placing some spruce planks then we've got a line of polished basalt that's going to go here as a little table and some more spruce planks in between these uh, these blocks to give us some depth we're using some spruce stairs and we're alternating we've got the ones on the bottom being right way up and these ones being upside down and we're going to do that here as well on both sides so just like so and also in this gap and the last little thing that we're going to be doing on here is surrounding this with some more of the upside down spruce stairs and that gives us this nice uh, little bit, bit of detailing when you look at it from this side here which matches that in the film before we finish it all off by putting a layer of the dark oak trapdoors on top of this entire office section and there we go now within the build there are some support pillars holding up the roof uh, and we're going to add these now and this is why we've put these stairs in here so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place a, uh, a black stone uh, a black stone wall here then we're going to place two of the prismarine walls and then we're going to place three of the uh, warped fences another prismarine wall and then on top of that we're going to place a smooth quartz block and that should leave two gaps before the top of this wall if we've done it in the right place next we're going to do exactly the same thing here on the other side of the stairs so we've got a black stone wall we've got two prismarine walls three warped fence walls and then another prismarine wall and finish it off with a smooth quartz block and we're going to mirror that on the other side so this is on the third block out so we keep coming across and we go one two and then on the third block we're going to do the same here and then we'll do the same here on the third block out as well and we'll just build these up like so one two three one two three and then prismarine on both and the smooth quartz block on top so this shows us where the layer of the floor is going to start being so we've got the floor level which will be here and then we've got um, another layer underneath which is going to be slabs um, here so next we're going to put in the fire poles now there are four fire poles connecting the ground and the first floor in this build so the first one we're going to do is we're going to come out and leave one block scap and we're just then going to continue this up We'll finish this off there we just want to bring it up far enough so it comes through onto the next level for now uh, then what we're going to do is go one two three four and on the fifth block is where the next fire pole is and that should be two blocks across from this window so you should have two full blocks and then on the third block this next fire pole and this again we'll just bring this up to roughly the same height so it's above where the floor is going to be uh, what we're also going to do is fire poles on this side so there's a fire pole that is one block away from here and so we'll bring this one up as well and this is the one that goes into the sleeping area sleeping quarters and then exactly the same as the other one we're going to bring this across and in line here so there we go and that's the uh, not that that's the four fire poles that we're going to have and now all that's left is to start thinking about the uh, the, the floor of the next level and the ceiling of, of this level. 
before we start on the next floor, we've just got a couple of little bits to tidy up here, and that is we're going to add some upside down stairs just on the underside of these stairs, going up to the this one, but not on the top block. We're also going to add some. Uh, we're going to add some hay bales, in fact, to these uh, to these fire poles, so they can actually be used. And what we're going to do is we're going to place one on this one that's closest to the stairs. We're going to knock out the block and place a hay bale here. Then we're going to come to this one and it's going to be on this side. The same with this one, it's going to also be on that side. And this one here is again going to be going into the middle like so. So we'll place those hay bales and then we'll just cover those up with some grey carpet. And that will mean that when you fall down you won't take any fall damage for using these, uh, these fire poles. We're also going to add some lighting. We're going to start here on this next to the stairs. We're going to place shroom light or some glowstone, whatever you like. And this is one block inside these pillars. We're going to come across to this side of the build and also place one in here, like so. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place one. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place one again. And do the same on the other side, coming back. And then we're also going to carry this on one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block here. And then one, two, three, four. We'll place this one on the fifth block there. So it just gives us a little bit of the, the lighting. And we'll also keep this going on the other side. There is some of the lighting around, but again, it's not quite enough to stop the spawn. So by doing this and putting these in the floor, then you can make sure that nothing is going to come out of the darkness and kill you. So now that that's done, we're going to start looking at the, uh, the next floor. Now, there's one more place that you might want to add some lighting just because, again, it's really, really dark down here. And that is on these blocks. And so we can bring them level which would be here and uh, wrong one put the the shroom lights in there and you might also want to add one just down the side again just to make sure that nothing can spawn around here it doesn't really matter where these ones go um, just as long as they cover enough of this dark passageway uh, and now we're going to start placing some of these blocks for the floor so the floor is dark oak and what we're going to do is start placing that and we're going to come around here and we're going to come out one block past this pillar and use some upside down stairs like this just to finish that off and at the moment we're only going to come out as far as this other pillar because we need to do something a little bit different around these fire poles so first and foremost we'll get this area all filled in with the flooring so around these fire poles we want to be able to use them which is why we put the hay bales down beneath uh, but what we don't want is to have anything that connects up because obviously fire poles don't have that you bump your legs when you're trying to go down so what we're going to do is we're going to add some upside down stairs and as you can see it doesn't connect up so what we're going to do for each of these is we're going to create a ring around all of these like this and then using this ring we're gonna making sure we leave the hole so that we can actually use it that's over the uh, that is over the hay bale and we're gonna place a ring of these upside down stairs right the way around like this on this one we are going to place a trapdoor like this so you can have it closed you can also have it open and drop down like this and you see you land on the hay bale and you can actually use these as, as your fire poles so we'll do that around each of these and once we've done that we're just going to fill in all of the rest of the floor with this dark oak as well so yeah all of these are uh, fully usable all you need to do is open the trap drawer and you can drop down uh, as long as you land actually on your uh, on your hay bale then you're good and uh, what we're going to do now this roof is a little bit dark so this isn't what we want we're going to use some smooth quartz slabs and we're literally going to fill in the entirety of this with some smooth quartz slabs now when we get to these sections what we're going to do is we're going to come around and go around the edge of but not cover up the stairs that we've got in place 
because that would look unsightly. So yeah, we're, we're then gonna have it like that. Now, if you wanted, you could cover up the stairs. It's entirely up to you. Personally, I don't, don't think it works because when you do have them all covered up, then you've got this one hole here and it doesn't look round like a fire pole entrance should do. So yeah, just come up to and level with that, but we're gonna fill in the entirety of this section with uh, the smooth or quartz slabs to give us a nice roof. Coming up to the first floor now, we are going to be, firstly, if you have put in this fire escape, we're gonna be replacing this with a smooth quartz stair so you can get in and out of that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building some of the dividing walls. There aren't many, it's mainly a big open space, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna come level with the edge of this window at the front, and we're gonna build out four blocks. We're gonna leave a block for a door, and then we're gonna finish this off to the other side like this, so you've just got one block doorway. On the other side of the doorway, so this is the sleeping area, and then this is gonna be the bathroom area. Coming out, leaving three blocks gap here, we're gonna build out, so it just stops one block short of the window here on this side, uh, and that is the walls. What we're then going to do is we're gonna fill these in and build all of these walls up, including, not putting anything over the door, using the smooth sandstone we're going to go up four blocks and then right the way around the build we're going to have a line of the brown concrete and then we're going to build up two further blocks of the smooth sandstone like so now at this point when you get to the doorway then obviously you can come over the doorway with the uh with the concrete and the sandstone but the rest of it yeah just fill it in and leave the windows with all of these dividing walls in place, now we're gonna work on the doorways and the windows. So first thing for this big window, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill all of this in right the way up and in this space using the black stained glass, like so. I'll just fill in up that bin a bit, but fill in the whole thing. Then on each of these doorways, we're gonna leave a two block gap. And then for this one, upside down facing into this room where you've got the fire pole, we're gonna have a stair here, a gap, and then a stair with another piece of stained glass here. On this one, we're gonna have the same pattern. So two blocks for the door and two upside down stairs, but facing into this big area with the stained glass there. And then we will place some doors from the inside on both of these. Uh, there we go, so like this. For each of the windows, what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, where we have a, uh, a wall here we're going to place another wall going across and then at the very top we're going to place some dark oak stairs facing uh, into the room and upside down on this side as well we're going to bring the walls across like before um, but for the big windows we're also going to bring up a line of walls in the middle just to separate the two uh, two sides of the window as well and finish that off with the upside down dark oak stairs what we might also want to do is where we've got the air conditioning unit on this side just bring that into the room uh, and then with that we can just get the jungle trap door on this side shift click into it and place that so you've got the air conditioning unit feeding into the build uh, just replace well just place all of the walls into the windows place all of the dark oak stairs upside down like so for the staircase up to the second floor now we're going to come one block past this uh, fire escape and we're going to start bringing the stairs up the wall so we're going to go up three stairs here we're going to place an oak plank and then we're going to place an upside down stair here we'll place an upside down stair here and one here as well and then from that point we're going to continue to bring the stairs up the wall until we get to the point uh, making sure they're the right way up of course uh, uh, that we get to this point here what we're then going to do is Initially, we're just gonna place a couple of, and by a couple, I mean uh, five of the blocks in between these windows of the quartz bricks, just so that we can bring the stairs up one more. So this is then gonna become the floor level of the next build, and we'll show that by bringing out the plank here. What we're gonna do on this side is we're gonna add a stair turned into this, and then we are going to uh, use some of the concrete and bring this around like so. So what we're gonna do is bring this into and then across three like this, and then just fill in that gap, bring in the smooth sandstone and bring that up level with the concrete 
that we have all the way around this build like this. And this concrete here is then gonna come in, brown concrete this is, and go into the underside of the stair as you can see, just like that. And then the stair fits in there. Now, what we've got in here is a void. Uh, if you want, you could put a door here into it. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fill that in uh, for now. But yeah, you've got a void, so do make sure you light it up if you're building this in survival. Then to finish this off here, we are just going to come down by two blocks and across by two blocks like this around onto this wall. So that's the shape that we will have. Now you can either have it like that or um, what I'm going to do is just fill that in with the brown concrete there. So you've got this step there. We're going to fill all of this in when we do the interior build. But that then gives you um, missed one level of the uh, sandstone there. That then gives you uh, the detail to bring you up to the next the next floor basically um, you can if you want to because you can go up these stairs you can uh, cover this entrance off or you can just have it going the full height I think I'll leave it going for the full height for now the other things that we're gonna do are we're gonna surround all of these we've got the uh, fire poles going here and in order to do this we need to be a bit careful because we don't want anything to connect to the fire poles themselves so we're going to use some fence gates and some fences and we're going to put a fence in each of the four corners and then we're going to connect that up with a fence gate on each side and what that will do is mean that it doesn't connect to this uh, at all we're even going to put one here and we're going to open that fence gate which allows us access to the fire pole so we can do that get access to the fire pole and we can use this fire pole uh, to come up and down and then just close the trap door when we don't want to fall down so well, as soon as you close the trap door you can't actually go through and use it so we're going to do that all the way around each of these now don't worry too much about where it connects up to the wall here and here there's not really anything that you can do about that it's just the nature of it uh, we'll finish these fire poles in a second once we put the floor in for the next level but yeah just put these in the corners and connect them up with the with the fence gates and make sure that you've got an open fence gate on the side that you want to be using. Now we're gonna put the floor in for the, the next level. And what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna be use the, using the dark oak and we're gonna be bringing this round. However, where we've got these, we don't want them to connect. So where we've got the walls that would touch this, we don't want them to connect. So what we're gonna to need to do with these uh, is to place some stairs. And we can just do that sideways because this is going to be covered by the rest of the floor that stops it from actually connecting up so wherever you've got uh, one of these sections where you've got the wall next to it then just place a stair block there and that will stop it from doing that alternatively you could place a slab just at the top um, and just leave a little teeny tiny void but yeah I just happen to have the stairs on my hotbar so use those uh, when you come around to this section obviously fill this in above the wall and this is going to be the flooring here I think we need to take I believe that we need to take this out a further two blocks or, or one block rather uh, just to allow us enough space when we're coming down this so that we don't bash our heads so as you can see there we keep coming down and we don't bash our heads on that so bring that uh, smooth uh, well like that quartz brick out by one further block before you then get to this window and then use the stairs uh, as before with these fire poles you can cover up all of the fire poles so you can bring the floor in completely round with the exception of this one here so this one here is the only fire pole that actually goes up to the uh, the second floor and so if you want to build that up to remind you then just do like we did previously with the stairs when you're building the floor around this leave a three by three gap around the fire pole and again exactly the same side we're going to have the trap door on so what we're going to do is as we did underneath put the upside down stairs running right the way around that so it doesn't connect up and then once you've built this round then we can just grab a trap door quickly and put that in against this block grab the trap door at all did we there we go trap door now and put it in as we did against this block 
and we can open that or close that. So fill in all of this flooring, uh, obviously leave the gap for the stairs and the gap for this fire pole and yeah I'll come back to show you the next floor. With all of the flooring and in this case the ceiling of this level in place what we're going to do is we're going to cover this with a layer of the smooth quartz uh, slabs and these are going to be the top slabs that are going to go here obviously we're going to avoid uh, overlapping on as we did beneath uh, on the the fire pole but aside from that we're just going to fill in a full full set of blocks all the way around when we come to these uh, which are the other fire, fire poles that aren't going up to the next level we will bring these up and what we'll do is we'll just double up the slabs here so that they connect up to the roof uh, so yeah these these are the thing that structurally holds this in place uh, and yeah we'll feed this all the way around when we get into the staircase again we still bring this smooth quartz around but what we're going to do here is we will put an upside down stair here so that when we are walking up and down the stairs if I can get into the staircase we just walk through so yeah just completely coat this entire place in the smooth quartz for the ceiling we're now going to place some lighting into the build this doesn't cover all of the lighting because some of it is covered by the decoration so do check all the light levels so you can make sure you haven't got any dark spots in the interim uh, but we're going to come across into this uh, this sleeping room next to this fire pole and we're going to come across two and on the third block we're going to turn that into a full block then we're going to place two chains and a shroom light uh, on the bottom of that and then around this we're going to surround it with trap doors which we're then going to close down towards the shroom light to give it like this uh, this proper light shade look now we're going to come into this area here and we've got a five block area here so we on the middle of these five and in the middle right of these three we're going to do exactly the same design here so we're going to come down with two of the chains and a shroom light and then equally put the trap doors on all of the sides for that um, and again make sure you do check all the lighting levels coming out through to this section uh, it's a little bit different how we're going to do it so first thing we're going to do is come across one block from uh, these two fire poles complete this it's a full block here and we're going to put some of the chains and the shroom lights in like so so chain chain shroom light I won't put all of the trap doors on but this is just to show you where it is then from here we're going to count across five one two three four five and then we're going to place here another set of blocks on both sides so as you'll see it completely avoids this hole here so you've still got the same uh, same line but we are going to keep them in line this way and that is going to be where we're going to place another light on both sides like this and the next ones rather than show you all of them i'll just show you the placements and you can fill in the light fixtures yourself so then one two three on the fourth block we'll place one here one two three and on the fourth block one two three and then the final one on the fourth block there so we will do that right the way across uh, same here one two three four one two three four one two three and four and this one will just butt up against this. I'll show you on, on here with these two and the shroom light just on the corner with the trap doors going around it. Obviously, if I put the trap doors on the right sides, that would help. Um, but yeah, make sure you do put the trap doors each time on the same side of the block. So if you place them on the bottom or the top half, just make sure you're consistent. And yeah, this ties in nicely to that corner, so you've got the light fixture. But yeah, it just gives you some nice lighting in here. And as I say, there are some other light lights that will be needed. You can, of course, because you have got a, uh, a layer beneath this, if you wanted, you could put some hidden lighting in the floor as well with some brown carpets on top. Um, but yeah, finish off the lighting and then we'll go up to the, the final floor. Moving up to the next floor. Uh, what we're going to start with is some of these quartz bricks and we're going to run these quartz bricks right the way around the edge of the build on top of this dark oak. When we get to this uh, doorway if you have included the fire escape then obviously just put some stairs so you can step up and down to that. Uh, but other than that just carry on these quartz bricks right the way around the build. 
on top of the quartz bricks what we're going to do is we are going to come up with some of the white concrete and we're going to come up eight blocks so that's going to go right next to the windows obviously not covering the windows but one two three four five six seven eight and that brings you up level with this uh, this layer where we've got the decoration with the um with the polished granite there when you get to the windows we will fill those in on the top with an upside down dark oak stair and then we just go on top of that with the white concrete so yeah fill this in all the way around uh, right the way through the build so that you've got this wall with the indents for the windows uh, quartz bricks and then white concrete with all of the interior walls in place, we're going to come through and sort out some of the details with the windows. So the first thing we're going to do is like we did on the floor beneath, we're going to come across and we're just going to fill in all of these gaps on this side with the black stained glass like so. And last block in there and also in this little bit above here as well. So with these windows filled in, we are also then going to come to these side windows. Now these side windows don't have any additional glass in because the glass is on the outside but we are going to replicate the walls on the inside as well so we're going to do the same on this side and exactly like we did previously we're going to have the line of walls going up we'll also bring in as we did previously the air conditioning unit up here and finish that off with a shift clicking on the jungle trap door so that it finishes that off nicely so we'll go around and do all of these uh, all of these walls on these windows the other thing that we are going to do is we're going to level with the top here where we've got this uh, this dark oak stair upside down we're going to come out one two three with this andesite wall and that is going to be the bit that we connect up to with this last fire pole so as you'll see that then goes into here and we'll finish off this fire pole area by putting the dark oak fence gates around the fences around it and the fence gates then in between on all sides now if you did want a little bit of differentiation you could change the color of these fences uh, and fence gates to something else but yeah I'm just gonna be using the, the dark oak now we're gonna come to the uh, so this is the back of the build we're gonna come to the front side of this uh, side entrance that takes us onto uh, the fire escape and we're going to build the stairs up to the roof access and we're immediately going to start the stairs right next to this and we're going to come up the wall and we're going to keep this coming up against this white concrete when we get to the top of this white concrete uh, we need to continue this up now the level that we carry this up to is this polished diorite here so this polished diorite is going to become the floor uh, and well basically the overall roof of the build there so we just put those in for now again it's not not necessary not essential but what we'll need to do is we'll need to bring up just some of the white concrete to this level just so you've got a nice smooth uh, look on the edge it doesn't really matter how much you do some of this you can leave or take out as you add the uh, the, the stairs in but what we need to do is bring this right the way through to the top of the uh, of this level so it brings us out here and then this is gonna carry on as the flooring or the roof whichever way you look at it for the entire build so yeah, it's just a long straight line of stairs uh, and that gives us the basis for where we're going to start putting the internal walls. Laying out the floor plan for the top of this room, we're going to start the front of the build. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on this as we look out the front window, the right hand side. We're going to place a block next to the window and we're going to bring out a line next to that. And that's going to be a doorway and these are going to be the walls for a little toilet in here. Then we've got the dark room which is on the other side. so level with this wall we're going to actually going to come out four blocks along here so it goes one block past this window we're then also going to bring this out a block past the window on this side leave a gap for a doorway and then connect these two sections up so that's going to give us the little dark room that you see in the second fill we are also going to have two blocks stepping out from here just next to this window but it only goes out two blocks it's just a little supporting wall kind of thing and then where we've put this staircase in place we're going to run a line of these blocks going right the way through until it's just coming up parallel with this window on this side 
Now we're gonna do some of the um, uh, some of this area here around the staircase. So the staircase comes out, you've got two blocks wide, and then you're gonna place one block gap, uh, one block there. Then you're gonna have a gap for the doorway and run this through out here. Not quite level with this. So again, we've got two blocks wide here. We put another block here next to this window, which gives us a doorway. So if we're walking, you've got a doorway out to the staircase up to the roof and also to the fire escape. And you've also got a doorway here into this kitchen section. Now the kitchen section comes across four full blocks. So on the fifth block, we'll place the wall, which is one, two, three, four. And then on this block, so it's two past this window, we'll bring this out and we'll come out four and then we'll leave a a gap for the door and then we'll go one two three four on this side as well now we've got this gap we need to just close that up by running a line of blocks directly across from here and this now gives you the full layout for your uh, for your next floor so the next thing for us to do is simply fill all of this up to this same height which is the eight blocks high with the white concrete on top of all of these walls walls and we'll deal with the doorways in a second all of the dividing walls are now in place, so now we're going to con uh, consider putting in the lintels and the doorways. So the doorways are obviously going to be leaving a two block gap for the door and then facing into this main room for all of these ones, we're going to be placing uh, just an upside down quartz stair. We're going to be placing one from this kitchen area into this main build area as well. And then the other side, the doorway is going to be going facing so the lintel faces into this stairwell and as does this one here now once you've put all of those in place we're going to fill them up with the, the white concrete up to the same level that we have just all of those blocks the one other thing that we're going to do is place a lintel on here as we're going to create a little under stairs cupboard and again with the concrete then being placed all the way up on the inside like so. So once we've got all the concrete coming up to this level, the other thing that we're gonna start doing is on this staircase, we're gonna bring the concrete up just next to this so it's level with um, the stairwell itself. We're gonna bring it up to blocks like so. So you can, on the inside of this stairway, all you can see is the white concrete. The walls are all linked up now with the white concrete filled in. Now we're going to put the ceiling on this. And the ceiling is just going to start on top of the white concrete we've already got. And it's going to be yet more white concrete, just bringing the whole thing out, covering the entire build in a full layer of this. Now, if you wanted to differentiate the colors, you could potentially use some quartz, but that's a bit more expensive than the concrete itself. But yeah, we're just going to cover everything with this white concrete right the way through into this build. So you've got one more layer here. So you'll have two layers above the window and then a ceiling coming out with the white concrete. Coming through here, you can then do exactly the same, connect these up right the way through the build, obviously just not going over and blocking the staircase itself. So yeah, this is gonna look like a big white blob. So we'll just fill in the big white blob and show you what's next. Now we've put in the ceiling, that's what it looks like from the top. And obviously as we come down here, you can see it's all filled in nicely there, but we are gonna go back up to the roof for a second. And what we need to now do is, we'll just fill this in as well, just so it's, it's nice and neat around that staircase. Um, we're now gonna deal with the andesite. So the andesite floor, as I mentioned, comes out and this is the external view that you'll get, obviously just seeing down to the andesite on top of this roof. Now you can either do this one of two ways. If you wish, you can leave it as a void in between these two levels. There is a gap of one block in between these two. Uh, you can leave that if you wish. However, I'm just going to be filling it in uh, just for the sake of the build because it is only filling it in with andesite. You could fill it in with any block that you like because it won't be visible at all. So I will fill this in with the andesite which will bring us up to this level. Then the first thing that you'll be able to see above that is that course of brick. So yeah, fill this all in and then we'll go and do the finishing touches inside. Now that we've done that roof, we are gonna put some of the lighting and finishing touches in down here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this bathroom. And what we're gonna do is we are just firstly gonna come up here somewhere, doesn't matter where, 
and just a couple of blocks down just place some light source there because we're going to put a an extra seal an extra uh, ceiling into this so we're going to go one two three four and then on the fifth block we're going to use this white concrete there so putting the lighting up there just stops anything from spawning there isn't really anything that you can use that space for um, but yeah just put as much lighting in there as you wish uh, just to stop anything from spawning once we have done that we're actually going to use the end rods again in order to come across as some strip lighting in this bathroom and that gives us enough light we're going to come across also into this which is the little uh, the the little photo lab thing and we're going to find the middle block in the floor we're going to just hide a shroom light under under the floor there now in this room what we're going to do is we are going to come level with this wall and this wall lines up with the edge of this window so with this wall we're going to go one two three and we're going to place three chains here which brings us down to this level with a shroom light on the bottom like so and we're going to bring this across level and we're going to come across and make sure that this is lined up with the edge of this other window here so on both of these blocks here there'll be three blocks in between and we'll do exactly the same three down of the chains with some lighting on the bottom now we're gonna extend this across so every fifth block so one two three four five so on this block here and also on this block here we're gonna place another set of chains with some more of the lighting and these are exactly the same type of lights that we had underneath with all of the nice light lampshades on there so these trap doors they look nice but they don't block any of the light itself anyway carrying on one two three four and five here just like so and then we do this one two three four and five and then carry these both down and put some lights in place like this so yeah go and fill all of those lights in in the kitchen we are going to come up to the roof and we're going to come in three blocks by uh, two blocks so the second block in from this doorway into the main section and just on this side of the window and we're going to do the same at the far end as well because this is a an even number so we can't place it in the middle of the room quite but this is as close as we can get now if you did want to use some other kind of light blocks uh, opposed to the shroom lights you could of course as well um but yeah just put the same style of lampshades on these all the way around and now we're going to come out here and we're going to put some lighting in this little hallway and where we're going to place it is we're just going to knock out this block here next to where the stairs come up and we're just going to put a little bit of hidden lighting in here like so and that should cover off all of these blocks around here then we come through to this section and just on this side of that doorway we are oh, not there just that's the block we're looking for so we're going to place the shroom light here as well and that again covers this entire little section going up to the up to the roof now that all of the lights are in place then again we've just got this little section here which is a, a little cubby hole cupboard uh, we're just going to come across above the lintel and fill this in in both directions up and down just so you've got a little cupboard in here doesn't need to be too big uh, where you have got any voids that you might want to fill in just make sure that you do stick some lighting in there uh, but yeah we'll just fill this bit in and then we'll place a door on this and we'll go through and we'll place doors on each of these doorways for this upstairs uh, the one other thing that we're going to do now is going to add some cornicing so we're going to take some of the normal quartz stairs and we're going to start running them right the way around the inside of the build like this and it's going to come all the way around the edge right the way up to and including covering up this diorite that um that is here and right the way through and round like like so we're going to do this on this room and that's going to go all the way around literally so that'll cover up any bits like that that you've got that are there and make sure that uh, you don't knock out the wrong blocks for a start uh, make sure that we do bring this round all of the corners and get it into all of the little gaps there and that will then give a really really nice effect on the ceiling in here going to do exactly the same in the kitchen here again just bring it right the way around all the way through the build like this 
and when we get to this stairwell we're not going to go beyond this stairwell again obviously putting all the doors in but in this stairwell bit we are going to put some of the corner thing which is just going to go on this side which is the far side of the build itself so the back of the build and we're just going to have a little cornice there just to give a bit of visual interest uh, for the the build so fill in all of the cornices fill in all of the doorways and then we are done so starting from the top down now this part of the build and this part of the overall tutorial which is going to be carried on with the interior is now done so yeah coming through here one thing that it's worth noting is it's worth checking all of the light levels in here until you get the interior in just to make sure that you can uh, not get anything spawning and with that in mind i did check the light levels and realized that these lights in the kitchen and the main area here were one block too high so it should be four chains not three chains because the ceiling in here is one block higher than it is in the other in the other areas so what we'll do now is we'll just pop through our lovely uh, our lovely fireman's poles so yeah we've got loads of space now you can either use this as a base as is or coming very soon there will be a video running through the interior it won't be a block by block placement for the interior um, because some of it is obviously once you can see the block there you know exactly what it is but there will also there will be run throughs of the bits that are more complicated uh, to do or anything that needs to be considered so yeah that'll be coming very soon or is already available so make sure you do check that out now we'll just head down now and out to the front of the build uh, yeah, this will all be filled in. Of course, there is already the video for Ecto-1, which will sit beautifully in here. So make sure that you do go and check that out as well. If you have enjoyed the video, please do make sure you let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure that you do leave a like on the video. That really, really helps the channel. And make sure that you uh, do above all subscribe so you don't miss the next, the next video in the series. And with that being said, all that's left to say is thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you next time on AD Craft. Bye.